Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Sincere Well. Ayan, today's vlogs. Ayan, um, magpapataba po tayo ng utak. Alam ko na hindi na bago sa inyo po yung uh, Tower of Anoy. Uh, Nakahit sa Google Apps ay meron ng download na laro na kagaya nito. But now, we will be using a wooden Tower of Anoy. And let us have a short tutorial on how to play uh, this uh, game. And let us find out also what is the relation of this Tower of Anoy in mathematics. The Tower of Hanoi, also called as the Brahma or the Locas Tower, was invented by a French mathematician, Edouard Locas, in the 19th century. It is associated with the legend of the Hindu temple where the puzzle was supposedly used to increase the mental discipline of the young priest. The Tower of Hanoi is a mathematical game or a puzzle, consists of three rods and a number of discs of different sizes, which can slide into any rod. The puzzle starts with the disc in a net stock in ascending order of size on one rod, the smallest at the top, thus making a conical shape. The mission of the game is to move all the discs to some other tower without violating the sequence of the arrangement. A few rules to be followed for the Tower of Hanoi. Number one, only one disc can be moved among the towers at any given time. Number two, only the top disc can be removed. And number three, no large disc can be set over a small disc. So we have here now the Tower of Hanoi. Okay, this is the wooden Tower of Hanoi. And we have here the three rods of the tower. And uh, we're going to use uh, seven uh, discs with different colors. And this, uh, the first rod, this is called the source. The second one is the intermediate and this one is the destination. So, the, our mission is we're going to transfer the seven discs into the destination following the given rules. To find out the minimal number of moves of the disc in the Tower of Hanoi, we're going to use the formula 2 to the nth power minus 1, where n represents the number of discs. Using the formula 2 to the n power minus 1, example, we're going to use uh, 2 discs. So we have 2 to the second power minus 1. So 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 is equal to 3. So it takes 3 moves for the 2 discs. Okay, for three, uh, three disc. Example, we have uh, two to the third power minus one equals. So two times two times two is eight. Minus one is equal to seven. So seven moves. For three this we have two to the fourth power minus one is equal to. So, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16 minus 1 is equal to 15 moves. So, for 3 discs, we have 7 moves. And for 4 discs, we have 15 moves. For 5 discs, so we have 2 to the 5th power minus 1 equals... So 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, that will give uh, 32, the product of 32 minus 1. So we have 31 moves for 5 discs. Next, for 6 uh, discs, if we're going to use 6 discs, so we have 2 to the 6th power minus 1 equals... So it's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 that will give the product of 64 minus 1 is equal to 63. So it takes 63 moves for the 6 disc. 
since uh, we use a uh, seven disc at Tower of Hanoi, we're going to try seven. Okay, two to the seventh power minus one is equal to two. Okay, we're going to multiply two by itself seven times. That will uh, will give um 128. Then minus one. So if we're going to use um, seven discs in a Tower of Hanoi, it takes 127 minimal moves. Okay, this time we're going to find out if the minimal moves of the disc using the formula 2 to the nth power is correct. Okay, uh, this time we're going to use first two discs. So, the number of moves uh, uh, for two discs is only three moves to transfer all the discs in the destination. So we have one, two, three. Okay, this time we're going to use three discs. So it should be seven minimal moves only. So let's try. We have one, two, three, four, So this time, let's try to use uh, four discs. For four discs, it should have 15 moves only to transfer all the discs in the destination. Let's start. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, uh, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15. We are now in the 5 list. Okay, let's try. Yan, nakikisali yung aso. Ayan, kanina ako English na English. Huwag mo mag-Tagalog. Kakapagod na, di ba? Okay, let us try at 5 list. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30, 31. So L, the minimal moves or um five this is 31. Okay guys, uh, this time we're going to uh, fast forward. Ayan, nag-iingay na po mga aso dito. Ayan, tatapusin na natin to. Ayan, this time we're going to use a seven um this. Ayan guys, para mas mabilis yung, ano, yung pag-solve nyo ng puzzle na ito. Ito lang yung sikreto, yung pinakamaliit sa taas. Itong pinakamaliit sa taas, ito yung ginagamit na guide para uh, mas madali nyo masolve ito. Okay, yeah. Halimbawa, uh, gagamit kayo ng 2, 4, or 6 na, ano, na disc. So, ang pattern nito is, from the source, you're going to step, step, then skip. Then step, step, then skip. Okay. Natatandaan. And then, if you're going to use a uh, number of this like 3, 5, and 7, so yung pattern nito ng orange or maliit na this is, you're going to skip, then step, step, skip, step, step. Magkabaliktad sila ng uh, number of this na 2, 4, and 6. Again, yung 2, 4, at 6, uh, 6 ay step, step, skip. Step, step, then skip. Yung 3, 5, and 7 is skip, then step, step. Skip, step, step. Okay guys, uh, let us uh, start with the 7 disc. Okay, the minimal uh, number of moves for uh, 7 disc is 127. So let's start. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 
46, 47, 48, 49, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, Ha, ha, ha. 